Okay, last one, really quickly. Hi, tell us who you are. Lola. Yes, I'm Lola. Um, I, I guess my, my midsection has always been the area of concern, but it's, it's not as bad now. But um, yeah, so, and I'm a, I'm a butt minus, so I'm always trying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> minus butt, yeah. <laughs> so I'm always trying to add some curves. Um, more shape. I would like to see a little bit more curves and shape. Um, and I love patterns and colors, and so my closet is full of them. And I know that, like, because I like to watch the fashion stuff, um, I know that there's a lot of mix matching with the, with the you know, but I don't want to overdo it, so I look like, like crayons exploded on me or something, or... <laughs> trying to find that balance of all the different fun, different prints and stuff out there, animal prints, um, and how to scale it down so I'm not going too crazy. Okay. Wow, that's a lot of excitement. <laughs> no, that's okay. Okay, so I'm going to probably touch on a few of those just because of the, in the essence of time. The thing that you want to keep in mind about patterns is you want them to complement and not be too close in, in scale. Otherwise, they fight for, with each other, right? We don't want any fighting. So let's just say we make this a little bit more narrow. A great uh, pattern she could wear with that would be pinstripes. It'd be so great. Because pinstripes would be uh, in a different line. They'd be wider. And it would look really chic without being competitive. You know, the art of dressing is really about the balance. How many colors for the color blocking? Well, it's not five. <laughs> I would say probably no more than three. Um, and then with the patterns, you know, two, no more than three. Right? Otherwise, it's like, wow, I see where she was going with that, you know. Maybe, maybe we're pushing the envelope just a little bit, but that's one example. Um, let's talk about curves really quickly, just in general for you. Um, curves, curves, curves. One thing you can do is just always look for, whether it's a jacket or shirt or anything, look for pieces that have uh, the line design, the construction that will create curves even if you're not. So, i.e., that for me, honey? Thanks. So this actually curves in like this and like that. And if you turn it to the front, let's say you're really angular across the shoulders. Here's a little jacket that creates all this ruffle. Make sense? And you can make this more ruffled or less ruffled depending on how much shaping and curving you need, right? So that's one example. Another example in a scarf. Here's an easy way you can do it in a scarf. That scarf has natural um, movement and waves and sort of the S curves in it as well, right? Another thing you can do is what? When, you're, when it comes to patterns, if you want to create curve, you can find um, patterns that are more um, circular or have more soft curves versus geometric for sure. If you are square or rectangular, you kind of want to stay away from those. Otherwise, they'll accentuate the geometrics. Make sense? Um, let's talk about your booty, <laughs> since you brought it up. Do you want to turn? Sure. Thanks. <laughs> okay, come on over here a little bit in the, in, in the middle. Okay, I look at me now, I'm like, okay, but that's true. You got to know what you're working with. No, you're fine. You're great. Just, here's the, again, when, when you think about ladies giving yourself permission, it's like being like, okay, this is where I'm at. Um, with being really gracious without needing to give explanation because you're just fine. Okay, so what she might do if her, if her seat is a little bit flat, what you might do is consider rounded pockets or pockets that have stitching that create the waves, those sorts of a thing, if that makes sense. Um, another thing just because I'm on pockets is b you, since you have shorter legs by three inches, you want pockets that rise higher because the lower that pocket is, the shorter it makes your leg. Look, look, makes it look, make sense? Um, for instance, right here I can tell that you're pretty um, rectangular through here, so she definitely wants to think about sculpted uh, patterns or even a peplum, which is on trend right now, a peplum little jacket or sweater that will grace over your, her hips, or just like look at this pattern. If she had this pattern, see how it looks more circular rather than angular, right? So those are some quick tips for Lola. <laughs>